Okay. Should be set for the night. Sit. Tell me what adventures you and BD have had since we last saw each other. All right. Same as always. Fighting the Empire, helping out where we can. Not staying in one place too long. And, um... I think we might have found something special. A place where the Empire can't find us. But it would mean leaving the fight. And well, the fight is all I know. Cal. Look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company. On dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked, it will consume everything in its path. Until there is only ash. But on a cold night, like tonight, a warm fire is perfect. And the company is not so bad either. I missed you, Marin. And I, you. I had to leave, Cal. In order to see the galaxy on my own terms. What'd you find? Myself. Reflected in all the places and people I encountered. Dathomir will always be my home, but... It does not need to define me. It's clear you made the right choice. You missed a spot. Morning. The weather has cleared. Let's go. Let's hope we don't need it. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know. But I am excited to see Breeze. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Hailoon Saloon. He named it after his great-grandmother. 
Nothing's more important to Grace than family. honor. I, I never thought I'd meet you in person. The honor is mine, Cal. Sears told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. How have you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? Well, Romantis looks like it's seen better days. You should see the other guys. This base is well hidden. Yes, well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly. But we do what we can. We mustn't keep Sio waiting. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So. How was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. 
but more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our spammel friend showed us the way. You've a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful. Reeves must be in the kitchen. We'll meet up with him later. Master Cordova and I will wait for Grease. Go speak with Sir. Guess the platform isn't here. Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jetta. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. Well, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like. like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And force sensitives, and those who help them. What didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire isn't invulnerable. That you can't resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, now you've just given up. It was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. See her. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. hello, BB. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. 
He's a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, this hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! Huh? Yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordo was up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. Guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> Oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, boy, this guy knows his audience. I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. Hey, Cal, hold on. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Both. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. The Master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Stay still. Gotta start somewhere. There you go. Not bad. So, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. My mistake. Relax, Cal. Just concentrate and pull the trigger. Yeah. 
It's nice seeing you again, Merit. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or it's Moon? I think we should check out the High Republic settlement first. Yeah, let's scope it out. Dagenger was bound to leave something behind. This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. You two have that in common. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our Spamel friend showed us the way. You've a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful.
Master Cordova and I will wait for Greece. Go speak with Sir. Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. Yeah, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like. like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And for sensitives and those who help them. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire isn't invulnerable, that you can resist, that you have to fight if things are going to get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, you'd just given up. Was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. See her. Well, you get a load of this. Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, hello, oh, BD. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, this hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey, we're all together! <laughs> yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova is up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> Oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, oh boy, this guy knows his audience. <sighs> I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. 
However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kogor, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or its moon? Let's hit the moon laboratory first. All right. Maybe we can find something there to help us cross the abyss. Master Cordova requested a translation of a later form of the allocution. Which form? The Plainsong Brother. Curious. Very well. Furnish him with the latest reduction. It... It isn't my place, brother, but I must request clarification. Why are we granting such a request? The ancients forbid sharing our rituals with outsiders. The ancients were not driven underground by armored invaders. Times have changed. Besides, he is here on Master Junta's auspices. Not Narcus, I'll grant you, but hardly an outsider. Do as you are instructed. Yes, brother. Let's hang on to this. I suppose you have both studied Oisin's lemma? Yes, sister. Indeed, sister. Then perhaps you will explain to me the paradox of the fifth book. Oisin explores the antinomy of enlightenment. It's a paradox about the inevitability of cycles. Hmm. Explain. Enlightenment is defined as cycle-breaking. But, per the canons, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, the more we embody it. But in accepting it, we become enlightened, thereby breaking the cycle. Indeed. And what do you make of this? I think the meaning is clear. You can't reason your way to true enlightenment. Ah. The lemma has confounded scholars for centuries, but to you its meaning is clear. I... well... Recall the canons. There is no truth but the truth of all things. There is no knowledge but the force of all others. Brother, perhaps you should revisit the fifth book. And while you're there, Revisit the preceding books as well. Yes, sister.
Not a bad find. Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jetta, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together once again after all this time. Could have used that luck when we were hunting for the Holocron. I know. Luck or fate. I'm just happy my master is alive and here with us. Yeah. And determined as ever to tend to the Jedi legacy and resist the Empire. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So... How's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Nah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Mantis. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. <laughs> It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Stay still. Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> there you go. Not bad, Jedi. Oh, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. Minus two. Mm -hmm. Cal does not like stormtroopers. He does. Impressive. I think you got it, Cal. It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? 
Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to where than meets the eye. You two have that in common. I can't believe Master Cordova's really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. That's right. <laughs> Droid, try not to get Kyle in too much trouble. Ready to go, bud? Route to the Shattered Moon. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. Is that right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. Seems like you've got a nice crew. Well, former crew. You know what I mean. Do I? So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the Abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You know anything about this laboratory on the moon, Grease? What am I, a tour guide? I'm a busy Latero. No time to visit broken moons. First Jetta, now this. Oh, believe me, moons are nothing but trouble. Jetta's a moon. Had no idea. Time to land. Get up here. Rusty. You? A little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. <laughs> hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. Sure, it's not your cooking? <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted. Okay? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just delighted you brought the manus to another haunted moon. That won't be long. Just gotta look for that laboratory Cordova found in the archive database. Sure. Take your time. They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. Reminds me of the forest array, just on a much grander scale.
The station is closed. They're here. Who's here? We've been attacked. Evacuation protocols in order. This station is closed. It is dangerous to remain here. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. Cordova said there were records of Dagon visiting a lab on this moon. It says Cree written all over it. think there's something past the abyss. Centauri Cree does. I suppose that's enough for the Council. Okay, so not that way. see this place operational after all this time. Stay alert. We need to find that lab. All set. Sectors 5 through 9 inoperable, sectors 1 through 4 operational. Facility status activated, array status deactivated. Looks pretty active to me.
is performing at suboptimal levels. The ray remains in it. Nice try. Let's check it out. Gotta unlock this. That's how you do it. Where's the laboratory? The laboratory is off limits. The laboratory is inaccessible. You're okay. Find somewhere to hide. I don't have access. I tried to tell them. Please, leave me be. The Raiders really did a number on these droids. Let's get this data disk back to Z. 
I don't have access to the laboratory. Please, leave me be. Okay. Good luck.
Nice. What is it, buddy? There's something here. Show this to Z. Buddy. Sector 5 Delta, no anomalies. Scanning, Sector 5 Epsilon, no anomalies. Scanning, Sector 5 Zeta, one anomaly. 
The sky is broken. We've been attacked. Give me a sec. I'll let's speak a few things. Not messing with this. Easier than building my first one. Like the new look? Buddy. Excellent. There is only the force.
All set, BD? 